Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD, also known as classic Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, is a fatal degenerative brain disorder. Early symptoms include memory problems, behavioral changes, poor coordination, and visual disturbances. Later dementia, involuntary movements, blindness, weakness, and coma occur. About 90% of people die within a year of diagnosis. CJD is believed to be caused by a protein known as a prion. Infectious prions are misfolded proteins that can cause normally folded proteins to become misfolded. Most cases occur spontaneously, while about 7.5% of cases are inherited from a person's parents in an autosomal dominant manner. Exposure to brain or spinal tissue from an infected person may also result in spread. There is no evidence that it can spread between people via normal contact or blood transfusions. Diagnosis involves ruling out other potential causes. An electroencephalogram, spinal tap, or magnetic resonance imaging may support the diagnosis. There is no specific treatment. Opioids may be used to help with pain, while clonazepam or sodium valproate may help with involuntary movements. CJD affects about 1 per million people per year. Onset is typically around 60 years of age. The condition was first described in 1920. It is classified as a type of transmissible spongiform encephalopathy. CJD is different from bovine spongiform encephalopathy, mad cow disease, and variant Creutzfeldt Jakob disease, VCJD. The first symptom of CJD is usually rapidly progressive dementia, leading to memory loss, personality changes, and hallucinations. Myoclonus, jerky movements, typically occurs in 90% of cases but may be absent in initial onset. Other frequently occurring features include anxiety, depression, paranoia, obsessive-compulsive symptoms, and psychosis. This is accompanied by physical problems such as speech impairment, balance and coordination dysfunction, ataxia, changes in gait, rigid posture. In most people with CJD, these symptoms are accompanied by involuntary movements and the appearance of an atypical, diagnostic electroencephalogram tracing. The duration of the disease varies greatly, but sporadic, non-inherited, CJD can be fatal within months or even weeks. Most victims die six months after initial symptoms appear, often of pneumonia due to impaired coughing reflexes. About 15% of people with CJD survive for two or more years. The symptoms of CJD are caused by the progressive death of the brain's nerve cells, which is associated with the buildup of abnormal prion protein molecules forming amyloids. When brain tissue from a person with CJD is examined under a microscope, many tiny holes can be seen where whole areas of nerve cell shape died. The word spongiform and transmissible spongiform encephalopathies refers to the sponge-like appearance of the brain tissue. Transmissible spongiform encephalopathy diseases are caused by prions. Prions are proteins that occur normally in neurons of the central nervous system CNS. These proteins, once misfolded, are thought to affect signaling processes, damaging neurons and resulting in degeneration that causes the spongiform appearance in the affected brain. The CJD prion is dangerous because it promotes refolding of native prion protein into the diseased state. The number of misfolded protein molecules will increase exponentially and the process leads to a large quantity of insoluble protein in affected cells. This mass of misfolded proteins disrupts neuronal cell function and causes cell death. Mutations in the gene for the prion protein can cause a misfolding of the dominantly alpha helical regions into beta pleated sheets. This change in conformation disables the ability of the protein to undergo digestion. Once the prion is transmitted, the defective proteins invade the brain and induce other prion protein molecules to misfold in a self sustaining feedback loop. These neurodegenerative diseases are commonly called prion diseases. People can also develop CJD because they carry a mutation of the gene that codes for the prion protein, PRNP. This occurs in only 5 to 10 percent of all CJD cases. In sporadic cases, the misfolding of the prion protein probably occurs as a natural, spontaneous process. An EU study determined that 87 percent of cases were sporadic, 8 percent genetic, 5 percent iatrogenic, and less than 1 percent variant. The defective protein can be transmitted by contaminated harvested human brain products, corneal grafts, dural grafts, or electrode implants and humane growth hormone. It can be familial, FCJD, or it may appear without risk factors, sporadic form, SCJD. In the familial form, a mutation has occurred in the gene for PRP, PRNP, in that family. 
All types of CJD are transmissible irrespective of how they occur in the patient. It is thought that humans can contract the disease by consuming material from animals infected with the bovine form of the disease. Cannibalism has also been implicated as a transmission mechanism for abnormal prions, causing the disease known as guru, once found primarily among women and children of the four people in Papua New Guinea. While the men of the tribe ate the body of the deceased and rarely contracted the disease, the women and children, who ate the less desirable body parts, including the brain, were eight times more likely than men to contract guru from infected tissue. Prions, the infectious agent of CJD, may not be inactivated by means of routine surgical instrument sterilization procedures. The World Health Organization and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommend that instrumentation used in such cases be immediately destroyed after use, short of destruction. It is recommended that heat and chemical decontamination be used in combination to process instruments that go main contact with high infectivity tissues. No cases of iatrogenic transmission of CJD have been reported subsequent to the adoption of current sterilization procedures, or since 1976. Copper hydrogen peroxide has been suggested as an alternative to the current recommendation of sodium hydroxide or sodium hypochlorite. Thermal depolymerization also destroys prions in infected organic and inorganic matter, since the process chemically attacks protein at the molecular level, although more effective and practical methods involve destruction by combinations of detergents and enzymes similar to biological washing powders. As of 2018 evidence suggests that while there may be prions in the blood of individuals with VCJD, this is not the case in individuals with sporadic CJD. Testing for CJD has historically been problematic, due to nonspecific nature of early symptoms and difficulty in safely obtaining brain tissue for confirmation. The diagnosis may initially be suspected in a person with rapidly progressing dementia particularly when they are also found with the characteristic medical signs and symptoms such as involuntary muscle jerking, difficulty with coordination slash balance and walking, and visual disturbances. Further testing can support the diagnosis and may include. In recent years, studies have shown that the tumor marker neuron-specific enolase, NSE, is often elevated in CJD cases, however, its diagnostic utility is seen primarily when combined with a test for the 1433 protein, Screening tests to identify infected asymptomatic individuals, such as blood donors, are not yet available, though methods have been proposed and evaluated. Imaging of the brain may be performed during medical evaluation, both to rule out other causes and to obtain supportive evidence for diagnosis. Imaging findings are variable in their appearance, and also variable in sensitivity and specificity. While imaging plays a lesser role in diagnosis of CJD, Characteristic findings on brain MRI in some cases may precede onset of clinical manifestation. Brain MRI is most useful imaging modality for changes related to CJD. Of the MRI sequences, diffuse weighted imaging sequences are most sensitive. Characteristic findings are as follows. Testing of tissue remains the most definitive way of confirming the diagnosis of CJD, although it must be recognized that even biopsy is not always conclusive. In one-third of patients with sporadic CJD, deposits of prion protein, scrapey, PRP, can be found in the skeletal muscle and or the spleen. Diagnosis of VCJD can be supported by biopsy of the tonsils, which harbor significant amounts of PRP. However, biopsy of brain tissue is the definitive diagnostic test for all other forms of prion disease. Due to its invasiveness, Biopsy will not be done if clinical suspicion is sufficiently high or low. A negative biopsy does not rule out CJD, since it may predominate in a specific part of the brain. The classic histologic appearance is spongiform change in the gray matter, the presence of many round vacuoles from 1 to 50 micrometers in the neuropil, in all six cortical layers in the cerebral cortex or with diffuse involvement of the cerebellar molecular layer. These vacuoles appear glassy or eosinophilic and may coalesce. Neuronal loss and gliosis are also seen. Plaques of amyloid-like material can be seen in the neocortex in some cases of CJD. However, extraneuronal vacuolization can also be seen in other disease states. Diffuse cortical vacuolization occurs in Alzheimer's disease, and superficial cortical vacuolization occurs in ischemia and frontotemporal dementia. These vacuoles appear clear and punched out. Larger vacuoles encircling neurons, vessels, and glia are a possible processing artifact. Types of CJD include 
As of 2015 there was no cure for CJD. Some of the symptoms like twitching can be managed but otherwise treatment is palliative care. Psychiatric symptoms like anxiety and depression can be treated with sedatives and antidepressants. Myoclonic jerks can be handled with clonazepam or sodium valprote. Opiates can help in pain. Seizures are very uncommon, and can be treated with anti-epileptic drugs. The condition is universally fatal, though cases where people live up to 2.5 years have been described. Although CJD is the most common human prion disease, it is still believed to be rare, estimated to occur in about 1 out of every 1 million people every year. However, an autopsy study published in 1989 and others suggest that between 3 to 13 percent of people diagnosed with Alzheimer's were actually misdiagnosed and instead had CJD. Presumably, those afflicted have become infected through prion contaminated beef from cattle with subclinically typical BSE, bovine spongiform encephalopathy which has a very long incubation period. CJD usually affects people aged 45 to 75, most commonly appearing in people between the ages of 60-65. The exception to this is the more recently recognized variant CJD, VCJD, which occurs in younger people. CDC monitors the occurrence of CJD in the United States through periodic reviews of national mortality data. According to the CDC, the disease was first described by German neurologist Hans Gerhard Kreutzfeldt in 1920 and shortly afterward by Alphonse Maria Jacob, giving it the name kreutzfeldt -Jacob. Some of the clinical findings described in their first papers do not match current criteria for kreutzfeldt jakob disease, and it has been speculated that at least one of the patients in initial studies were suffering from a different ailment. An early description of familial CJD stems from the German psychiatrist and neurologist Friedrich Migendorfer. 1880-1953. A study published in 1997 counted more than 100 cases worldwide of transmissible CJD and new cases continued to appear at the time. The first report of suspected iatrogenic CJD was published in 1974. Animal experiments showed that corneas of infected animals could transmit CJD, and the causative agent spreads along visual pathways. A second case of CJD associated with a corneal transplant was reported without details. In 1977, CJD transmission caused by silver electrodes previously used in the brain of a person with CJD was first reported. Transmission occurred despite decontamination of the electrodes with ethanol and formaldehyde. Retrospective studies identified four other cases likely off similar cause. The rate of transmission from a single contaminated instrument is unknown, although it is not 100%. In some cases, the exposure occurred weeks after the instruments were used on a person with CJD. In the 1980s it was discovered that Liadura, a Duramater transplant product was shown to transmit kreutzfeldt jakob disease from the donor to the recipient. This led to the product being banned in Canada but it was used in other countries as Japan until 1993. A review article published in 1979 indicated that 25 Duramater cases had occurred by that date in Australia, Canada, Germany, Italy, Japan, New Zealand, Spain, the United Kingdom, and the United States. By 1985, a series of case reports in the United States showed that when injected, cadaver-extracted pituitary human growth hormone could transmit CJD to humans. In 1992, it was recognized that human gonadotropin administered by injection could also transmit CJD from person to person. Stanley B. Prusiner of the University of California San Francisco, UCSF, was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1997 for his discovery of prions, a new biological principle of infection. However, Yale University neuropathologist Laura Manuelides has challenged the prion protein, PRP, explanation for the disease. In January 2007, she and her colleagues reported that they had found a virus-like particle in naturally and experimentally infected animals. The high infectivity of comparable, isolated virus-like particles that show no intrinsic PRP by antibody labeling, combined with their loss of infectivity when nucleic acid protein complexes are disrupted, make it likely that these 25 nanometer particles are the causal TSE variants. There have been 10 cases of healthcare-acquired CJD in Australia. They consist of five deaths following treatment with pituitary extract hormone for either infertility or short stature with no further cases since 1991. The five other deaths were caused by duragrafting during brain surgery, where the covering off brain was repaired.
there have been no other known healthcare acquired CJD deaths in Australia. A case was reported in 1989 in a 25-year-old man from New Zealand, who also received dermatitis transplant. Five New Zealanders have been confirmed Tohei died of the sporadic form of Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD, in 2012. In 1988, there was a confirmed death from CJD of a person from Manchester, New Hampshire. Massachusetts General Hospital believed the patient acquired the disease from a surgical instrument at a podiatrist's office. In September 2013, another patient in Manchester was posthumously determined to have died off the disease. The patient had undergone brain surgery at Catholic Medical Center three months before his death, and a surgical probe used in the procedure was subsequently reused in other operations. Public health officials identified 13 patients at three hospitals who may have been exposed to the disease through the contaminated probe, but said the risk of anyone's contracting CJD is extremely low. In January 2015, Former Speaker of the Utah House of Representatives Rebecca D. Lockhart died of the disease within a few weeks of diagnosis. John Carroll, former editor of the Baltimore Sun and Los Angeles Times, died of CJD in Kentucky in June 2015, after having been diagnosed in January. American actress Barbara Tarbuck, General Hospital, American Horror Story died of the disease on December 26, 2016. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.